Look, uh, one thing we can all agree on. Stetson Bennett is the greatest college football quarterback of all time. That's not up for debate or dispute. But I'm a little jealous of my boy Stetson Bennett. It's got nothing to do with his football ability. Stetson Bennett has somehow managed to piss off uh, people that didn't like him to start with. Uh, people that, uh, which is basically like 10 to 20% of the people, right? They never liked him to start with. He can never do uh, anything right in their eyes. He pissed them off. He pissed off the 10 or 20% that think he can do no wrong, that think he's never thrown an incompletion, that think he's never played a bad quarter or a bad game or a bad series. He pissed them off. He even pissed off the 60 to 80% of the people in the middle who have judged Stetson Bennett for what he is. They've given him credit when he played well. They've criticized him when he didn't play well. He's managed to piss off pretty much everybody uh, with with his antics, I guess you could call it, following the uh, national title game. And I'm going to be honest with you, where do I fall on all of this? I'm a little bit torn, and that that's a place I don't like to be. I like to come down firmly on one side or the other on, on issues, um, you know, I, I like to take an argumentative approach towards things like uh, this is how I feel, this is right, and if you don't agree, you're wrong, whatever. That, that's, But I'm not really, I'm having a hard time uh, coming down uh, there with this particular issue. Uh, if you don't know what's going on with Stetson Bennett, uh, it, it, look, he's been a polarizing figure in the world of college football to both Georgia fans and non-Georgia fans, right? You got a lot of Georgia fans who... Wanted other people to start. Uh, you have been critical, even overly critical. Me, uh, I ra freely raised my hand there. Um, it, you know, he's been very polarized. People from other fan bases, a lot of people from other fan bases don't like him. He's been called everything from cocky to arrogant to a prick to an asshole. Um, you, you know, there's the whole thing with his age, which I think is probably the most ridiculous criticism of all when it comes to Stetson Bennett, his age. I mean, let's be real. Him and Hendon Hooker are the same age. Stetson Bennett and Hendon Hooker have been in college for the same amount of time, the same number of years. The difference is Stetson Bennett's got two national titles, an SEC title, and four playoff MVP awards in four different games that he played in, whereas Hendon Hooker has a loss to Purdue in the Music City Bowl or the Liberty Bowl or whatever it was. Okay, so he's 24, 25 years old. Breaking news, there's a lot of players in college football right now who are older than what we're used to seeing because of the extra year of eligibility that everybody was given due to COVID. The idea that, you know, Stetson Bennett did what he did because he's 24 or 25 is ridiculous because there's a lot of 24 and 25 year old college football players who aren't doing what Stetson did. So, uh, but anyway, so the point is he's been a polarizing figure. Well, th there's been a series of things that have happened since Stetson Bennett won, not his first, but his second national title in a row this past year in college football which has started to rub some people the wrong way. And I mentioned in the beginning of the video, he's managed to find a way to piss off every segment of the fan base. The Georgia fans that are against him, the Georgia fans that are for him, the Georgia fans that are kind of in the middle, non-Georgia fans. Now, not all of them, not all of them, not all of the people in any of those categories are mad about Stetson Bennett's behavior over the last couple of weeks, but there are people in all of those groups that are upset with the way Stetson has acted the last couple of weeks. So just let's recap. Georgia wins the national title. The next morning, uh, per custom, uh, is a press conference. The press conference involves the head coach of the winning team, the offensive MVP of the winning team, and the defensive MVP of the winning team. Well, Stetson was the offensive MVP. Javon Bullard was the defensive MVP. Kirby Smart was the head coach. Kirby Smart showed up. Javon Bullard showed up. Stetson Bennett could not be bothered to show up. I, who knows why? Slept in, didn't want to be there. I have no idea. I don't particularly care either, to be honest with you, for a couple of different reasons. Number one, press conferences are kind of are what they are. You very rarely get anything worthwhile or useful out of these press conferences anyway, right? The other thing is, Stetson Bennett's not any good at them. Stetson Bennett's not a good speaker. He's not a good interview. He's not a good press conference person. He's just not. That's not a knock on Stetson Bennett. There's lots of people that aren't good at, in those, at, at doing that. He's one of them. It's not a knock on him. I don't care that he didn't come to the press. I really don't care at all. But there were some people who were upset and bothered by it, okay? Fast forward a few days to the parade and the celebration that Georgia held this past weekend in Athens on Saturday. They had a parade through downtown. 
They had the dog walk up to the stadium. They had the, the stage and everything set up inside the stadium for a celebration. During the parade, the players ride in the car. Fans stand out in the cold for hours, waiting on the players to ride by, waiting to see certain players, waiting to see their favorite players, waiting to see the best players, waiting to see Stetson Bennett, or whatever, for five or ten seconds as they ride by in a car and do the little parade wave. You all have been to a parade before. You know how these things work. Well, Stetson Bennett somehow managed to piss off a whole lot of people on that parade route. He pissed off the people that didn't like him, he pissed off people that do like him, and he pissed off people in the middle. How? He couldn't have been any less interested in the parade, apparently. Um, y you know, there's posts and video clips and pictures and written accounts all over the internet, Twitter, blogs, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, you name it, um, of people complaining that they waited and waited and waited and Stetson Bennett rode by and he had his head buried down in his lap staring at his cell phone the whole time. Didn't wave at anybody, didn't look at anybody, didn't have anything to say, nothing. Um, and it pissed a lot of people off. There's another scene of a reporter. Um, it's from an Atlanta news station, and you have to forgive me, I can't remember which one. There's an Atlanta news reporter who's doing a live shot from the parade route, right as Stetson Bennett is coming by. And you know, those cars ride really slow on the parade route. So the reporter who's doing the live shot sees that Stetson Bennett is coming by. She walks back to the car. She asks Stetson Bennett a question. She points the microphone at him. And Stetson Bennett basically said, uh, you're a member of the media? <laughs> Laughed in her face and basically shooed her off. Couldn't be bothered, didn't have the time of day, didn't want to have anything to do. Now, that's his prerogative. Of course that's his prerogative. Again, doesn't bother me. I, I could care less whether Stetson Interview gives uh, a quote to some parade reporter on uh, Barrett Shoals Parkway or any other road anywhere in Athens. It doesn't matter to me, but it pissed a lot of people off on all sides of the Stetson Bennett debate, sort of his attitude and his demeanor during that parade. Well, fast forward to the actual celebration itself inside the stadium. Some of the coaches spoke, some of the players spoke. Stetson Bennett was one of the players that got to speak. Uh, he was asked an irrelevant question by a most likely irrelevant reporter, and he basically rambled on about how um, he was mistreated and, you know, no one likes him, And but, but now I got two rings, dummy. That's basically what he said. Pissed a lot of people off. Uh, pissed off people that like Stetson Bennett, pissed off people that don't like him, and pissed off people in the middle. This is, it's, a, it's just amazing. The skill to be able to do that, don't underestimate the skill to be able to do that. It's easy for me to get on here and piss off the people that don't like me. That's easy. I can literally say or do anything. I can say or do nothing. And the people that don't like me are going to be pissed off. That's easy. There's no skill involved in that at all. Okay? But to get on here and piss off the people that do like me, that's a lot harder to do. That's a lot harder to do. Stetson Bennett has figured it out. And I, I'm, you know, hats off to him, I guess. But he's made a lot of people mad. Uh, you know, I've heard words like petty. I uh, went through them earlier. People just think he's an asshole, kind of. And again, hey, look, as captain of Team Asshole, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Stetson. I really don't care, but people are making a huge deal out of these things. And then I guess last night, now, <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not sure if this is the best way anybody should really be spending their time but with that being said, I'm more than guilty of this myself. Stetson Bennett has now become a Twitter troll. Uh, some, I, I don't know if this guy's, a, I, I don't know who this guy is, this state man or whatever he's, I don't know who this is. Apparently a lot of people know this guy. He's a, I don't know if he's got, does he have a podcast? I don't know who he is. And I guess he made some disparaging marks about Stetson uh, Bennett. Stetson Bennett found out about it. Stetson Bennett goes on Twitter, I guess and leave, leaves this huge thesis on Twitter, basically talking down to the guy like he's a four-year-old. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I love Twitter arguments between celebrities, non-celebrities, famous people, irrelevant people, people I know, people I don't know. I love Twitter arguments. I engage in as many of them as I can myself. Uh, but... <laughs> I'm not sure if it's somebody, uh, I'm not sure if that's the way somebody of Stetson Bennett's stature should be spending his time, uh, even though I appreciate it. I, I knew when I saw that yesterday that there was going to be a lot of people that didn't like that. And guess what? A lot of people didn't like it. It's just, it, I don't know. Uh, Stetson Bennett 
Here's how I feel about the situation. I can't put myself in Stetson Bennett's shoes, but I know how I am. Uh, you, you know how I am too if you're watching this video. If there was 10, 20, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, whatever, of people that spent the last four, five, six, seven years telling me, you're not good enough. You can't do it. You're not any good. You can't do it. You're not any good. You shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. You're not any good. You're not good enough. You're not any good. You're not good enough. If there was hundreds of thousands of people telling me that, millions telling me that for five, six, seven years, and then I went out and did it, not once, but twice in a row, I would be the most obnoxious asshole on the internet about it. So I I get it. I, I, I completely get it. Uh... And I'm kind of surprised. If it was me, I'd be way worse with the way I was treating my critics than what Stetson Bennett is. I'm also able to see the other side, though. Maybe it's because I do YouTube, so I know that there are a certain percentage of people. There's a certain percentage of college football fans who just, they don't want to engage in that at all. Whether you want to call it trash talk or um, criticism that they don't like to, it, it tends to be like the, uh, I call them Disney dogs, but every fan base has them. It tends to be like these fans who, you know, the, the sun is always shining, everything is fine, nothing is ever anybody's fault. Those types of people, they don't like this kind of thing. Um, they don't like the fuck you attitude that Stetson Bennett has developed over the last couple of weeks. Personally, like I said, I've got no problem with it. My problems with Stetson Bennett are very well documented. None of them have anything to do with his attitude. I love his attitude. I think his attitude is part of what got him where he's at today. Uh, so I don't have an issue with it. But I understand why there are some people that do. And it's impressive to me that he's managed to piss off segments of the fan base that fall into every conceivable Stetson Bennett category. There are people that have always hated him. They're hating him uh, more now because of how he's acted the last couple of weeks. There's people that have always loved him. They don't like the way he's acting now the last couple of weeks. And then there's the people in the middle, sort of the people who have eyes and understand football and have been critical of Stetson at times when they felt like he deserved it and have praised Stetson at times when they felt like he deserved that. He's pissed off some of those people too. <laughs> it really is remarkable. It really is, uh, it really is remarkable. Anyway... Man, Stetson Bennett, the greatest college football quarterback of all time. Have a great day.